booktube chelsea the reading outlaw here to do a video i am so excited about i am a huge fan of book riot as some of you may or may not know and recently book riot discontinued their quarterly subscription box and came out with a brand new thing the book mailbox um it's not quarterly it's not a subscription it's just something that they offer that you can buy it was, I believe, $60 with shipping included, but the contents within are guaranteed to be worth more than the initial investment. There is at least one book in here and some bookish goodies, and I'm here to do an unboxing today for you guys to see exactly what's in here. I love doing stuff like this. It is bookish Christmas. I don't do it super often, but every now and then you gotta treat yourself. So let's see what's in the Book Riot box, shall we? Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, tips for the perfect unboxing. Read all the books, rock your new goodies, riot all over the internet. So there's some good package marketing and I'm gonna try really hard not to hurt myself or cut through any of the books in my opening attempts. Ha ha, all right, let's see. So first thing when you open it, here's what it looks like on the inside. There's all the stuff nice and packed in there. The book mail card, B hashtag book mail box. Welcome to your first book mail box. Get ready to devour some delicious reads about food and the eating life. And then there are some, it lists kind of what's in the box. And I don't want to look at that too hard, but it looks like this is, so it's all food themed or like cooking themed. And this is, do, 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 do. Let's see looks like it's a lovely it's an adorable little tea towel like i said the print is um says quick dishes for women in a for the woman in a hurry and then it's got these adorable kind of 40s style uh illustrations on it so there's some happy radishes and some rabbits eating a carrot and some lettuce and all sorts of cute things like that it looks like there is also uh, an apron that comes with it that's kind of in a similar style. So here is that. Ooh, this is nice. I have a lot of like half aprons that just go from the waist down, but this is a full apron. So it goes like that and it says, there is no love sincerer than the love of food. George Bernard Shaw. And then it's got a bunch of kitchen utensils on it. So that is super awesome. Definitely good accessories for the old food themed box. And then also in here, we have a really cute bookmark. Here is the front. It's got books and measuring cups and some jam. And on the back, it says eat, sleep, read. So we all know that that's what we're all here for, right? Hashtag good life. Then we have a bar, this bar saves lives, dark chocolate, cherry, and sea salt. Boom. On the back it says, it's simple. For every bar you buy, we give a packet of life-saving food to a child in need. So that's awesome. And then, of course, we have the good stuff. We have the books. First one is Blue Plate Special, an autobiography of my appetites by Kate Christensen. Uh, and the back says, for novelist Kate Christensen, food has always been a powerful connector to herself and to the world. In this passionate feast of a memoir, Christensen searches for love, confidence, and a sense of belonging. As she moves from an unorthodox childhood in 1960s Berkeley to suburban Arizona, from France to Brooklyn to Maine, and all the places in between, it is always the essential pleasures and comforts of a good meal that sustains her. A perfect soft-boiled egg, warm spinach pie, the memory of a slice of an Adama bread with jam. Blue Plate Special is a gorgeously honest book about listing, listening to your appetites and having faith in yourself while learning when to hold on and when to let go. So that looks really, really well done. There are pancakes on the front. I fucking love pancakes. So there is that. And I think I saw on the note that, yep, this is really awesome. This is a kind of recipe and letter. The first one is for roasted eggplant ricotta basil pizza which I'm not a huge eggplant fan so we'll see how that one works out and then on the back is a one pot supper with wild rice and mushrooms so I also don't really like mushrooms so the recipes may be more for my husband than for me but that's definitely super exciting and let me check the card yep they are recipes from Kate Christensen just 
for people who got the book mailbox. So that's always awesome. And then we also have another book. So you get two, in this one you get two paperback books plus all the goodies. So definitely uh, worth the price tag, I would say, because this is Yes Chef, a memoir by Marcus Samuelson with Veronica Chambers. And the back says, it begins with a simple ritual. Every Saturday afternoon, a boy who loves to cook walks to his grandmother's house and helps her prepare a roast chicken for dinner. The grandmother is Swedish, a retired domestic. The boy is Ethiopian and adopted, and he will grow up to become the world-renowned chef Marcus Samuelson. This book is his love letter to food and family and all its manifestations. Yes Chef chronicles Samuelson's journey from his grandmother's kitchen to his arrival in New York City, where his outsized talent and ambition finally come together at Aquavit, learning him a New York, earning him a New York Times three-star rating at the age of 24. But Samuelson's career of chasing flavors had only just begun. In the intervening years, there have been White House state dinners, career crises, reality show triumphs, and most important, the opening of Red Rooster in Harlem. At Red Rooster, Samuelson has fulfilled his dream of creating a truly diverse, multiracial dining room, a place where presidents rub elbows with jazz musicians, aspiring artists, and bus drivers. It is a place where an orphan from Epi where an orphan from Ethiopia raised in Sweden living in America can finally feel at home. So those are the two books that came with the food themed book mail box. And I am just so excited to dig into these. So, all right, those are the two books we have. And then we had, of course, the bookmark and the snack bar and the tea towel and the apron set. And I am just so incredibly excited and think that it was absolutely worth the money spent to dig into the new box service, gift box service from Book Riot. Uh, let me know down below if you have gotten the box, if it's on your way to you, or if you've already unboxed it, what you think, what you think about the stuff that was in the box, the books and the gifts and things. Let me know if you have any really good food memoirs. It's something I haven't read a lot of, but I'm definitely more interested in checking out. Now aided by my wonderful new books. And of course, you can always look me up all over the internet. I am here on Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram, and always ready to talk books with you lovely people. All right, everybody. Bye.